you ever wanted to know what kind of dog your dog is? Well, I have wisdom panel and we're gonna find out what kind of dogs Orca and Kraken are. And this is a super simple test. You just order this and right now it's $80. And I got this off Chewy. You have all this on the back, which just tells you what's going on. Swap for 15 seconds, activate kit online, send to us. Super simple, super easy to use. You open this up. This is your return label box. Open it up. It has the swab inside of it. Don't lose that. It's got instructions on what to do. Visit wisdompanel.com slash activate to activate your test using the sample ID located on the side of the box. You must activate your test before mailing the DNA sample. Two, slightly peel back swab sleeve about two inches, five centimeters. Save sleep for later. Wait approximately two hours after a meal or treat before collecting DNA sample. Three, obtain cheek cells by firmly rolling bristles between cheek and gums for about 15 seconds. Let swab air dry for at least five minutes. Repeat steps two to four for the second swab. Be sure to use both swabs on the same pet. Step 5. Once both swabs are dry, insert them bristle first into protective sleeve. Do not reseal protective sleeve. Write owner and pet name on sleeve label. And 6. Place the sleeve with swabs into main box, steel carton, and mail. Let me see on the focus. You see on here you write owner's name and pet's name. And this next step is going to be... I'm going to activate these after I do this because trying to get them to swab is not going to be easy. Alright, who wants to go first? Orca, thanks for volunteering. So we peel this back. I don't know how much two inches is. We're going to say that's two inches. All right, are we going to have to lock one of you up because you two um, are maniacs when it comes to brushing your teeth? I say, hey, we're just going to just gonna stick this in your mouth a little bit. Good girl. We have to do it again. I know, that was so, that was so rough. All right, here we go, we're going again. Where's your body? Let's do the other side of your mouth this time. See if you got different cells over there. There you go, you did it! Yes, so good. The box has these little holes. Um, I stick them in here and let them dry for a few minutes. <gasps> Come here. No, no, no. This isn't for eating. This isn't for eating. This isn't for... Shh, shh, shh. I'm gonna stick this in your mouth in a second. Hold on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. There we go. You're not in the frame anymore. Shh. You're not in the frame anymore. Okay. Go. Stop. Stop. You've got hair all over it. You're gonna ruin it. Even worse, you've got Orca's hair all over it. You're gonna come back. Come here. Hold on. Stop. Put it in your mouth. That's not, that's not where your gum is. Oh my god. so I can do the second one, because stop that. Stop it. <laughs> Alright. We're going to do the second one later when I have someone to hold you. Okay? Okay. 
So who knows what Kraken's DNA test is going to say. Um, I'm going to show you how to put this together to mail since I need someone to hold Kraken for me. So now that you've waited at least five minutes and your swabs are dry, you're going to take your sleeve. And when you activated the kit, there's an activation confirmation number that you make sure you write on here. So you just take them, go right down in there. Like that. And you just take this box. And you put your thing down in there. Like so. And I wrote their names on here so I wouldn't accidentally get them mixed up. And then you just take, just take the adhesive off, maybe. Yeah, just peel it off, and then just close it up. Make sure you write your return label thing on here, just in case something were to happen. And then you just pop this in the mailbox. I'll see you in like or weeks or whatever when it comes back. All right, it has not quite been a month since I sent the DNA away. So March 25th was when I took the sample. The 26th was when I sent it. Uh, per USPS, it arrived on April 3rd. We started processing it on April 5th. So it's now the 14th. Kraken's DNA is ready. I'm gonna try and screen record this, but I don't know how to do that very well. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, here we go. So, view results. Four breeze detected. I wonder how many of that is the floor hair that we picked up. Huzzah! Kraken's test results are in. View results. Anatolian Shepherd Dog. Great Pyrenees. Mare Ma Sheepdog. Siberian Husky. What is this? M A R. I've never even heard of this dog before. Oh, I can see her being that. A livestock guardian. Uh, Kraken is all clear for 29 genetic conditions that could impact her early vet visits. Uh, we performed 39 genetic traits tests on Kraken's DNA. First, we learned she's a very good girl, but here's what we f else we found. All right, I'm going to look at the ancestry first. Because she... Shrimp, can you not? 73% Anatolian Shepherd Dog. 19% Great Pyrenees. 5% Marima Sheep Dog. 3% Siberian Husky. This was kind of like Angel's results when she was just Beagle and um, Dachshund. So according to this, her parents, one side of her family tree is pure Anatolian Shepherd. The other side is the mix. She's got three Anatolian Shepherd grandparents with a great parent or great grandparents with the Great Pyrenees. Mixed with Anatolian Shepherd. Wait, where did the other one come from? Oh, I guess the Marima is so... And the Husky are so uh, narrow you can't see it on here, but... Interesting. Anatolian Shepherd dog. That's not surprising at all, because that's what we were told she was, you know? Shrimp! And then I'll just give you a little rundown of um, the type of breed, the weight, how big they'll get, their lifespan, and then the breed group. A little bit of history about them. Some traits about them. Yeah, Kraken. This is what Kraken looks like, but the ears are a little uh, higher up and her eyes don't look so droopy. 
Uh, large, powerful appearance. Yep. Temperament. Loyal, calm, loving, and devoted. She is not super territorial. My friends came over and she did not care they were on her territory. Then I'll give nutrition. Grooming. Shrimp. Exercise. And training. I want... Let's go back to the one that I don't... No, I want to go back. I don't know anything... Actually, let's look at the genetic markers and see what it says about that. We work with veterinarians to develop tests. Common conditions of dogs with Kraken's breed makeup. Um, Landsmen from Asthenia type 1, which she is clear for. And you can look at all the ones that they have. Why are you crying, baby? Hey, come here. Come here! Come here! No, we have to go back further. Further. Uh, this is... This looks new. I don't remember having this on the other tests. Fawn. Yeah, that's definitely a color. Dark muzzle. Chocolate variant. Dominant black. This is probably what um, Orca's gonna have. Long hair variant one. Hairlessness. Does not have any traits associated with hairlessness. So I think I'm gonna look up this one and then I will end this here. Shrimp. So this, this kind of looks, stop squirming. I'll let you on in a second, okay? So that's about the weight. That's a pretty good lifespan for a big dog. Ancient working breed that can trace its origins back to the Tibetan, ma Tibetan Mastiff. Mm. First sheepdogs came to the US in the 1970s as part of a research product. Now you got lobster out there crying. Yeah, I can see her being this. It's not more require extensive grooming. Yeah, neither of them really do. We just train them or uh, brush them a little bit. Require consistent training from a young age. Yep, they did not get that. Okay, now go back, go back to like the home page. Oh, my pets is probably where I wanted to go. Hello, I did not want to go that far back. My pets? Okay. So, there was a problem with Orca's sample. What do you mean? <laughs> Orca had a great sample. She. What? I'm shocked that Orca's sample did not have shrimp. I know you don't like being contained, but just chill. That is... Honestly, I'm surprised that they were able to get clear DNA out of Kraken. I guess we're gonna have to get a new DNA test and redo this. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Since Orca's DNA was bad, we got an email the next day saying that uh, we could either get a new kit or we could get a refund instead. I obviously still wanted to test them, so we got the new kit. The request for the kit was put in on the 20th, and by the 24th, it had arrived. So, 
Today I'm going to uh, swab her again. In the email about the bad DNA, they said that to try to get a good sample, we should swab the top gum. And another thing they suggested was to put your hand on the outside of their cheek to try and get the DNA a little better. I'm gonna do that and send it off tomorrow and then hopefully within three weeks, we will have her results. So Orca's DNA is finally back and we're gonna look at it. It is Saturday, May, 15th. So it's been quite a while since I originally started this, but for you it's been a few minutes or seconds. So let's take a look. So four breeds detected, which they might be the same as Kraken's or they might be different. Let's find out. Go down. He detected four breeds, Anatolian Shepherd, Great Pyrenees, Marima Sheepdog, and Caucasian Sheepdog. So based on this, I would say that they are genetically related, but in order to confirm that we would need to do um, another test, like um, Embark will test if there are dogs who have taken the same test that your dog has taken and see if they are related or not. So she is clear for 29 genetic conditions. Uh, let's see. Uh, coat color is dominant black. Yep. Which... Are any of these dogs naturally black? Because I thought they were all fawn colors. Orca's ideal weight range is 73 to 115 pounds. Yeah, she's currently about 80. Orca does not have any traits associated with head shape. Okay, let's go back. So, how much did Kraken have? Lobster, why are you crying? Let's say hello to them since you are being a crybaby outside. Hmm? So, Anatolian... Maybe it comes from the Caucasian Sheepdog. That's pretty... I don't know, maybe the Great Pyrenees comes in... Do the cookie. History, traits, coat coloring... Uh, can you stop that? Great Pyrenees are white or white with gray, badger, reddish, brown, or tan. Where did the black come from? Check this one. This is the. I guess this is where the black came from. Breed can be any color except for solid black. Well, she's got white spots on her. Where's the family? Oh, here it is. So Anatolian Shepherd and Great Pyrenees. So it looks like this lines up pretty well actually.
So it looks like parent A was pure Anatolian Shepherd and then parent B was some mix of a lot of different things and Kraken got some of the DNA and Orca got some of the other. Maybe in the future we'll do the Embark test just for fun uh, to see what they come up with DNA wise and also to see if they are related but I feel pretty confident saying that they are part of the same litter. I looked up uh, some of the breeds a little bit last night after I looked at the DNA results uh, just to see like what traits they could have gotten certain things from. And this doesn't necessarily mean that they got it from this specific dog or this thing or whatever. Because uh, all dogs are unique and just because there's like a breed standard doesn't mean that every single dog is going to follow it. Both of them share the Anatolian Shepherd Dog, uh, Morema Sheep Dog, and Great Pyrenees. She apparently has a very small amount of husky that was detected. And you have the Caucasian Shepherd Dog. And I can definitely see the husky trace kind of in there because she will demand attention. She does not like being separated from us. They had an old mattress that was being used as their bed and she tore it up when she was being left alone. She also has like a howl she does, but she won't do it with me. But she goes, oh, whenever she thinks we've left her alone. And then Orca is made up of all herding dogs, which are kind of more chill. They're okay just like sitting around a little bit because they're meant to guard animals. And her black coloring comes from the Caucasian Shepherd Dog. And she obviously looks like the Anatolian Shepherd Dog. And Orca also has the uh, very thick undercoat that the Caucasian Shepherd Dog has. Kraken's coat is much thinner and she doesn't have the undercoat like her. But both of them are very active since we've put up the yard. They've even lost a little weight, so we've started feeding them more. Last time they were weighed, they were about 80 pounds. I'm not sure what they weigh now. But Orca, as you can probably tell looking at them, is very solidly built. She could definitely fight a bear. I don't know if she'd win, but she'd stand more of a chance than Kraken. And Kraken is also more of a people pleaser. She will, if we call her to come, she'll usually come. Orca, on the other hand, will look at you like, I don't really want to do that. Which is something that herding dogs have because they're meant to be independent and make decisions on their own. And I just did this for fun. We've tested our three dogs before just to see what I would come up with. And I just wanted to test them and see what this would come up with. And this was pretty much in line with what we thought. We kind of thought she might have like Newfoundland in her because of the coloring. Okay, goodbye. But this is a really good environment for them to be in because they're up in the mountains, which is kind of what they were bred for in the first place. Not them specifically, but their breeds. And we were told that they were given up because someone bought two little fluffy puppies and then they grew up into these 80 pound monsters. And the only thing they really did right was to socialize them. Kraken gets a little stressed with other dogs that are barking at her. If she met a calm dog, she'd probably be okay. But we took them to meet my uh, grandma's dogs. And one of them's kind of a jerk and Kraken was ready to square up and fight him. So they did not meet. She met the calmer one and she had no issues with him. But thanks for watching. You coming over here? Don't hit me. Huh, oh, hey yo. Hey yo, yes. Look at your dirty feet. Huh? That's my shoelace. She is the troublemaker. She likes to bark. 
But if there's something being destroyed, it's this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week.